Back on April 9th, you said you viewed the delay as transitory for 19. Does this change anything in your view? No, I think Phil was right on. This stock is a free cash flow behemoth, and it's, it's going to get a little worse before it gets better. So it's about investor patience and timeline there. The company noted about a billion dollar of cost. Now, that's over an accounting block of 3,737. So if you think about it, it's less than 1% gross margins. So that's not thesis altering. In terms of the cash flow for Q1, it was down 15% year over year. That was because inventories were a huge use of cash because you're parking the three sevens. So when we think about that impact over a quarter rather than a month, it's probably going to be a $5 billion impact in Q2. Uh, when was the last time they suspended a buy buyback? Any idea? And, and I wonder what performance was like coming out of that window. I think, I think they're just being prudent. I think it's also optically, it probably appears wise, given carriers are not receiving their aircraft and they're looking to alternate plans. It, it probably doesn't look good to buy back your shares. Sheila, what does the action in the stock today tell you? The, it's trading up about a percent. Was this all factored in? I think it was. It was largely expected that they would pull guidance in that they can't give their commercial delivery number out. In a way, it looks like you're front-running the global regulators. They said that they're working on the software update, and they have had about 135 test associate, production flight tests associated with it. Um, so from that perspective, they, can, they couldn't really give out guidance, and you know, investors were somewhat aware of that. So it's about keeping this to 2019 and not impacting uh, 2020 results and going forward. Spend some anecdotal reporting about the relationship fraying between uh, Boeing and some carriers, specifically Southwest, which we know is heavily exposed uh, to the model. Uh, can you shine any color on that at all? Sure. I think, you know, we've, we've talk, spoken to multiple carriers. I think customers are happy, but there is, you know, a, a unhappiness in that they have to make alternate plans. They have to lease aircraft for, for longer, so it is costing them. And you know, in our, in our forecast, we are assuming Boeing is going to have some concessions associated with that. What will you be listening for on the call? I, I guess beyond just Mullenberg's tone and, and how optimistic he is that some of these issues are getting fixed. I think it's, um, you know, Boeing will focus on safety and how they think about it because it is very important to them. Uh, and just cleaning up the perception that's out there at the moment. What I'm listening for most on the call is, 737, when, when does it get back in? But also on the 777X, the certification of their new wide-body aircraft, that's expected sometime mid-2020, how that impacts that, and maybe any potential color on their next aircraft that they were somewhat expected to launch at the Paris Air Show in June, uh, the NMA aircraft. Finally, I wonder if you think, um, I mean, 400 uh, is in the rearview mirror as we look at a chart of, uh, of the past week. Do you see any long-term legacy issues in terms of the market's perception of their manufacturing quality coming off of this time story over the weekend about the Dreamliner in South Carolina? I mean, at large. Uh, no, I, I don't think so. Uh, as it regarded, the New York Times article was specifically focused on the 787. And I think, you know, when we look at a few things on that aircraft, the customer perception has been very, customer receptions have been very good. Boeing is going up in rate on that aircraft from 12 a month to 14 a month. They have 50% market share when compared to both Airbus A330 and the A350 model. They've had 1,400 orders to 73 customers, with 41 of them coming back to repurchase the plane. So, uh, you know, that the customer reception on that plane uh, doesn't coincide with what the article is talking about.